Today, we are going to learn another strategy for adding three-digit numbers. So let's begin. We're going to add 395 plus 461. The first thing we're going to do is look at our hundreds. Then we're going to add them together. So this 3 represents 300. The 4 is the value of 400. 300 plus 400. Well, I know 4 plus 3 is 7, so 400 plus 300 must be 700. Now I'm going to move to my 10s. I have a 9 and I have a 6. Well, the value of the 9 is 90, and the value of the 6 is 60. So, 90 plus 60, hmm, I'm going to put 90 in my head and count on six more tens. So, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. So, 90 plus 60 is 150. Now, watch carefully how I line up my answer. This will be important in the next step. Now, let's look at our ones. We have a five and we have a one. So five plus one equals, notice how all of my equal signs are lined up. It's okay that our addition signs aren't lined up because this is the part that's going to matter here. Five plus one is six. I'm not going to write my six here because then it would be in the hundreds column. I'm not going to write my six here because then it would be in the tens column. I'm going to write my six in the ones column and then add down. 0 plus 0 plus 6 is 6, 0 plus 5 is 5, and 7 plus 1 is 8. So 395 plus 461 is 856. Let's try another one. Six hundred eighty-four plus 152. Do you remember what to do first? We're going to look at our hundreds and add our hundreds together. 600 plus 100. Well, I know 6 plus 1 is 7, so 600 plus 100 must be 700. Now I'm going to look at my tens. I have 8 and a 5. Well, the 8 really means 80. And the 5 really means 50. So now I'm going to add 80 plus 50. I'm going to put the big number in my head and count on by 10. So 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. I'm carefully lining up my hundreds, tens, and ones, so when I add them together, it will be much easier for me. Now let's look at our ones. We have a four and we have a two. I'm lining up my equal sign. Well, four plus two, I know that. Four plus two is six. I'm not going to write it in my hundreds column. I'm not going to write it in my tens column. I'm going to make sure I write it in my ones column. 0 plus 0 plus 6 is 6, 0 plus 3 is 3, and 7 plus 1 is 8. So, 684 plus 152 is 836. Let's try another example. For this example, I want you to try it on your own and pause the video. After you've worked out the problem, press play and check your work as I go through it. We have 483 plus 231. First, I'm going to add my hundreds. So I have 400 plus 200. I know 4 plus 2 is 6, so 400 plus 200 must be 600. Now let's move on to the tens. The value of the 8 is 80, and the value of the 3 is 30. So 
So I'm going to put 80 in my head and I'm going to count by tens until I count 30. 80, 90, 100, 110. I'm going to carefully line up my hundreds and tens and ones so that when I add down, they're in the correct places. Now I need to look at my ones. We have three plus one. My equal signs are lined up. And now I need to figure out where I'm gonna put my answer to three plus one. I'm not gonna put it in my hundreds. I'm not gonna put it in my tens. I have to make sure I keep it in my ones. Now I'm going to add down. Zero plus zero plus four, zero plus one, and six plus one. So the answer to 483 plus 231 is 714. Now I'm going to have you try a few problems in Seesaw. If you get stuck, come back to the video and watch it again for help. I'll see you later. Bye.